So it's been nine days with the Pebble, which was my first true smartwatch. If you haven't seen our unboxing, please subscribe to our channel. Watch it and leave your comments below. I have learned what I love and what I could improve upon with this Kickstarter product and cannot wait to recognize its true potential when the official Pebble App Store goes live early 2014. The Pebble feels great in the hand and on the wrist. It is light, reasonably sized, and today's watch standards, customizable by watch face, app, color, and wristband, which will help settle in almost any lifestyle. You can seriously order any 22mm watch band in your favorite material from your favorite company. Notifications are where this device slams its closest competition because it doesn't discriminate. It will notify you for incoming calls, texts, emails, applications updating, and so much more. There is even a Pebble Notify app that will let you filter what notifications are usually important to you. You can even control your music streaming through your Chromecast or plugged in by your auxiliary in your phone. The waterproof factor adds to value knowing if you forget it jumping into a pool or get it wet while washing the dishes, it will keep ticking. Get it? Keep ticking? <laughs> Did I mention the Pebble works with practically any Android or iPhone on the planet? Though the Pebble has given even the biggest OEMs like Samsung and Sony a run from their money, it's hard to compete on some fronts. The Pebble has a simple e-inkish display produced by Sharp with great outdoor and indoor viewability. And the included backlight in dark environments which can be activated with a flick of a wrist. You can't get past the resolution is visibly lower compared to competition like the gear and lacks vivid color customization. The current SDK is limited, though SDK2 is in beta 4 and should be official in the coming months to bring out better device compatibility, much more stability, and additional app and watch face enhancements. You also can't take calls or pictures directly with the device either, which for some sums the potential of a smartwatch as being better capable. In conclusion, the Pebble is a powerful smartwatch and extremely powerful for the price. Retailers such as Amazon and Best Buy have recently sold the Pebble for 120 and the Pebble sells for 150 on their own site. At more than half the cost of the competition, such as the gear and with the higher flexibility to customize by watch face, app, and watch bands, it's an amazing buy, uh, especially if you're a user who doesn't want to feel locked down to a brand or ecosystem. The battery life, ruggedness, and waterproofing may be a done deal for the clumsy or extreme lifestyle user as well. I believe the Pebble will continue to grow and gain popularity in 2014 as it's changed how I use my phone the same way active notifications on my Moto X make it hard to survive without. I have misplaced my phone and found it using my Pebble as a pager. Refrained from pulling my phone out of my pocket by screening the notifications and dismissed calls. I believe this is amazing buy for the tech enthusiast and that wearable tech will continue to grow in 2014. This has concluded our week with the Pebble. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. This is Team Unboxing, and we will see you next time.